Hi guys, welcome back to Sleep Saturday. Okay, I'm getting straight into this. Greg Raleigh is back. This is not a drill. Note, this is not a drill. For the first time since 1980, Greg Raleigh is back on the stage with Journey. For Neil Sean, the return of his old ally and founding member, well, this hasn't come quickly enough. With the band currently embroiled in a civil war, Greg's return signals a back-to-basics approach from a simpler time in the band's history. Neil put out the emergency flare and Greg answered the call of his old friend. Remember, Greg Raleigh was Journey's original lead singer. Look, we all know the story. Greg left the band in 1980 to pursue a different life off the road. You know, drink less booze and start a family, etc. He in no way blamed the increasing role the new co-lead singer Steve Perry was having in the band at the time, though, for his decision. He just had enough of the grind, having been in Santana before Journey earlier in the 1970s. He and Sean were in Santana together, and they formed a close friendship. One that remains to this day. But could he be here to stay this time? You know, it's good for your soul. You go out and play, it's what we do. He's right. We've speculated here for months that Greg might return to the stage with Journey, who are currently out on their 50th anniversary Freedom Tour. But I was starting to think it wouldn't happen. A band mired in carnage. Raleigh's own hand-picked replacement, John Kane, hates Neil. Neil hates John. They both hate each other's wives. And Arnell, well, he's just over it all. Meanwhile, Perry sits at home and takes a cut of the band's recording and touring profits while laughing at all this mayhem all the way to the bank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. So there it is. Now, some will say that Greg has just returned for a cameo to celebrate the anniversary, but could there be more to this? With Arnell baiting Neil to evoke his own termination from the group on Twitter recently, and Kane fundamentally opposed to Raleigh's return at all, could this cameo signal the solution to all Neil's problems? This Shakespearean tragedy just keeps going. Sean and Raleigh could take full control of this group again and boot Kane out the door and restore Greg to his rightful position on piano. Arnell, who sided with John on the Greg issue, would either have to fall in line or get out. Journey could come full circle here and return to their roots. Raleigh's return to the stage with Journey in Austin, Texas yesterday was surely an emotional one for all involved, for various reasons. He sang the song Of A Lifetime from Journey's first ever album, released years before Perry even joined the band. This wasn't one for the casual fans on the night guys, this was the middle finger to the other members of the band. Santana's Black Magic Woman was also played, along with Feeling That Way and Any Time from the Infinity album in 1978. Heightened emotions aside, if Arnell did quit and Greg did stay, Journey would have enough firepower to supplement the band's back catalogue. Jason Derlochta and Dean Castronovo have great voices, and as we know, Dean is no stranger to singing those songs in the original key. Look, after this appearance, all bets are off. Who's next? Steve Perry? <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious though, guys. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.